Hey guys, I'm just another engineer, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. It's been a long time. Um, it's Christmas holidays, or I should say it has been the Christmas holidays. Um, and this year, instead of binge-watching hundreds of hours of pointless YouTube videos, I actually decided to get something done. And here is my work. There we go. This is a 16-bit computer that I've built now in Scrap Mechanic. Still underway. Uh, still working on it. Um, I, I have most of the programming done. Or, er, not programming, but... Um, what is it? Operations for loading and writing from RAM. This is the RAM over here. And then we've got a bunch of registers. And then here we have the... Um, I don't know what it's called in real computers, but this is the uh, the task counter and then the task memory, so that basically chooses which uh, which task it's being loaded from RAM, so it can keep track of what it's done. And then over here is the addition unit that I haven't hooked up yet. Over here is the clock. This is what actually keeps the whole thing running, and this was a nightmare to program in, if I remember correctly, because there's a bunch of different things for falling edge and all timings and nothing wanted to line up because the latency inside the RAM is terrible. Then over here we have the ops decoder, or that's what I call it. None of this stuff is orthodox, all of it's like my own invention, so just try and make sense of it. Um, this is what decodes the actual um, the actual codes that are put into RAM, and then this decides what the computer does. So, do addition, load, or write from the register, all that stuff, and whatever I might add in in the future. And then this is an extension of that. This is, uh, hang on, I get this up. Oh, yeah, that's right. This was also a nightmare to connect up, but we'll get into that later. This is what, um, figures out what has been said just by or what what has been programmed in by the memory and then this is what actually starts um, assigning the tasks so this is connected up to everything and starts setting off all the different operations I've actually made a text document for how this whole thing works because last time that I made this this was my 8-bit version which wasn't as well planned out. Um, there were tons of bugs in it, and when I tried to make it work again, it took me forever to figure out how to make it work, so this time I wrote everything down. And here it is, this massive beast of a document contains all the stuff that I've put down. As you can see, how to operate Oh boy, there's so much to this thing. It's almost the same as the last one. It's, of course, a lot bigger, has a lot more ops codes. Um, I'll be... Uh, so this is just assuming that I'll do this in the future. I haven't actually set it up yet. Uh, and then we have the clock task counter, task memory, buffer memory, ops decoder, ops controller, RAM input, and the addition, which I haven't quite yet put together, and it takes a while to scroll through this, if you're not using this side, but let's see, right there, 224 lines of text just showing how this thing works. So, as of now, it's December 30th, if I'm not mistaking, so that leaves me eight days or so until I get back into school, so hopefully we'll be able to make this thing work by the end of it. I'll see you guys then, and hopefully I will have a fully functioning computer by the end of this.